Hey everybody, Mark Agnese here in the back room of Norman's Rare Guitars. Welcome back. It is another brand new episode of Guitar of the Day. The uh, 58 gold top from the 600th episode celebration. It's bye official. Bye. It's official. <laughs> it's gone, kids. Sometimes they, they stay for a while. Sometimes they stay for a short time. That one stayed for a short time. Although Norm's had it for like 30 years or something like that. But it was only here for a while, for a short period, short period of time. That one's gone to Rockstar Land, kids. You might be seeing that guitar again soon. I hope so. I hope it comes out and gets used because I think it's going to. But uh, that was a really cool one. You're that kind of stuff in that kind of condition. Ain't around. Um, let's see. Uh, I am very happy to announce that today we are bringing back Weird Ass Wednesday. Woo! It is the return of Weird Ass Wednesday. Not that this guitar is like off the wall weird, but it still falls into the weird category. But I gotta tell you, I like it. I like it a lot. I think you're gonna like it a lot too. Check this out. This is from 1956. Oh boy. That's an original <laughs> Silver Tone Model 1303 U2. Original black finish, two lipstick pickups, concentric knobs, Coke bottle headstock. Peep those decals, man. Pinup girl decals. And if that's not enough, instead of having the white tape on the sides, oh, this has got the silver foil tape on the outside. It's pretty sick. Dude, how sick is that? That's that is like cool. serious Americana kids, and that is very, very, very cool. We've done some Dan Electros and Silver Tones before. Um, but we'll talk about it again. Nathan Daniels, the guy that started Dan Electro. Um, and yeah, there's kind of like a variety of different brands that kind of get under there. Dan Electros were made and sold to music stores, basically. Then the Silvertone brand was basically the exact same thing, um, but that was uh, owned under the uh, Sears Roebuck Company. So the Silvertones, as this one is, branded Silvertone, was sold at Sears. And then there was also their airline guitars, which were sold at Montgomery Wards. So the Dan Electro would have looked very similar, although it would have just said Dan Electro down the Coke, the Coke bottle headstock, as they call that. This one just says Silvertone at the top. Same pickups, made of the same stuff, pretty much the exact same feature set. Just got sent to different stores. They got put under different brand names. So uh, to, as to kind of eliminate price shopping and competition and stuff, each company kind of had their own brand. That's how it worked. Um, but Nathan Daniel came up with some really, really cool ways to cut costs and make a great sounding guitar for not a lot of money. Took a little bit out of the Leo Fender School with the bolt-on necks. These are actually like particle board guitars under here that are usually just taped around um, like a Formica top. These lipstick pickups sound fantastic. Really, really killer. This has got concentric, uh, like a stack pole pickup, like you'd see on those early jazz basses volumes and tones uh, for each pickup. Three-way switch to switch between the two. Oh man, look how that fades down to the, all that black fades off in the wood. For me, I gotta be honest, it's about that silver foil. That is rare find, and it's in really, really good condition. You pair that with the black, and then we got danger curves. <laughs> and if you don't see what you want, ask for it. And the decals are all freaking peeling off too with the texture on the finish. It's just all aged yeah. together and bitching. Wow. Ugh original soft case this came in with about if you're into these guitars we just bought a collection of about 12 of these from a collector um that had some very very cool ones some custom color ones some odd example ones um but this is my favorite of the bunch it's just so cool it's not going to be here long let's go to the couch it's weird ass wednesday let's get weird let's plug this thing in see what it can do all right we're out front we have the 1956 silvertone model 1303u2 Original black finish with the totally rad silver foil on the outside. Coke bottle headstock, pinup girl decals. So rad. We're going through 64 custom deluxe reverb from Fender today. All EQs at noon. Just a little bit of reverb. Let's start up on the neck lipstick pickup all by itself. Let's see what this thing can do here.
coming on into the middle position. We got both of those lipstick pickups working together. Let's see what we got here. Bridge pickup all by itself. Wide freaking open. Let's grab the slide. See what we got down there. Seriously? They sold these in catalogs? From 1956. It's about as cool one as you're ever gonna see. Original silver tone model 1303 U2 style guitar. Two lipstick pickups, original black finish, limited edition silver foil outside, which is so sick. And of course these non-original but totally rad. Don't take them off. 50s pinup girl decals, original Coke bottle headstock, original soft shell case. There's your weird ass Wednesday. So sick! Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Mark Agnesi. Follow the store at Norman's Rare Guitars. And check this and the rest of these guitars out online at normansrareguitars.com. And of course, come back tomorrow for another special episode of Guitar of the Day. It's Thumping Thursday. But I'm actually <laughs> kind of excited about it. Kind of. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Bye.